right now. Always investigating. This is 7 News. And first at five, as the gun control debate heats up, Colorado lawmakers are stepping into the spotlight, calling for more restrictions on guns. Colorado Congresswoman Diana DeGette outlined her proposal to ban large gun magazines today. She was joined by a state representative whose son was gunned down. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon live at the Capitol now. And Lindsay, they say the climate for this discussion is beginning to change. Mike, Congresswoman DeGette is a longtime advocate for tighter gun laws. Today I asked her if she really felt her proposed legislation would see movement. She said the climate of that debate is changing. Lawmakers here are talking, and now is the time for her to make her move. There was something about those little babies at Newtown that changed the debate. And I have never seen such a commitment to doing something. Congresswoman Diana DeGette proposing legislation again that would ban gun magazines holding more than 10 rounds. Why in the world does someone need to have a high capacity magazine? And we, when we know that what that's going to do is someone is able to kill as many people as they can in a brief amount of time. State Representative Rhonda Fields, who lost a son to gun violence, is also backing legislation imposing that ban and requiring universal background checks. But gun rights advocates are saying what they always have. Restricting these high-capacity magazines or the type of weapon will not save a life. This is completely wrong-headed. Uh, it, it, it has nothing to do with um, addressing the specific issue of a violent culture and, and, a, and a society or a, a culture of death. Uh, this has everything to do with advancing a political agenda. This discussion happening just a day before a Senate committee will address a Republican proposal that will allow school employees to carry concealed weapons on campus. Tom Mauser, who lost his son Daniel in Columbine and remembers him today by wearing Daniel's shoes, says that too cannot be the only answer. Do we now have parents making a decision what classes their their children take based on well isn't an armed or an unarmed teacher. And just two weeks ago, Mauser met with the families in the Newtown, Connecticut shooting, and he said they told him Washington needs to have an open and honest conversation about gun control. The proposed ban that Congresswoman DeGette is offering is much like the one that expired in 2004. It would restrict the sale and transfer of high-capacity magazines. Live at the Capitol, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.